Magandang araw, Kamerada. This is Coach Mirada Minor. At ang ating topic for today is about liquidity staking pool. Ano nga ba ito? At bakit mo ito kailangan malaman para mas maging matagumpay ka in your journey, specifically for the decentralized finance na isang aspeto ng cryptocurrency. Simulan na natin. In liquidity staking, users deposit assets into a pool, forming a liquidity reserve that's actually used to facilitate trades on a decentralized exchange. Itong pool na ito ay minamanage ng isang smart contract on a blockchain. And the assets are actually locked for a certain period of time, be it 90 days, 120 days, or even 2 years katulad ng Ethereum. During this time, users receive rewards in the form of a token that represents their stake in the pool as well as the portion of the trading fees generated by the decentralized exchange. Example nito is Beth in Binance for the Ethereum staking or Steph in Lido. Maraming gamit ang mga token na nare-receive ng isang staker in a liquidity pool. Halimbawa, the same token can be used and can be traded on the same decentralized exchange providing liquidity in the exchange itself. It can also be used to be able to participate in governance decisions for the protocol giving users a say in the direction and the management of the decentralized exchange. A liquidity staking is an important component of DeFi because it provides a way for users to earn rewards while supporting the infrastructure of the decentralized exchange. Samantalang ginagamit itong same argument na ito kung bakit minsan tinitingnan ng mga tao na Ponzi ang decentralized finance on the same algorithm them na people are earning rewards just by putting their money or locking their money. Pero sa ibang topic na muna yan. Ano nga ba muna ang example ng liquidity staking? Ang example nito ay Lido or Lido. Isa itong particular na program for liquidity staking kung saan you can actually earn rewards by putting money or locking your Ethereum in their staking pool. By participating in the governance and the liquidity staking of Lido you can actually earn Lido as a token na pwede mo rin gamitin to be able to trade or even make votes in the governance of the liquidity pool. Similar to other liquidity staking as a service, ang layunin ng Lido is to also incentivize and attract more users by locking in their Ethereum and other tokens into their service. If you go to their website, makikita mo na meron din silang Solana and other assets aside from Ethereum na pwede mong i-stake. Samantala, Kamerada, merong bagong update ang Lido specific to their evolution. Nga pala, Kamerada, if you're new to my channel, Please don't forget to click on like and subscribe so you're updated for everything about cryptocurrency, technical analysis, fundamentals, and these types of new knowledge for you in crypto. Maraming salamat. Ito ang Lido version number 2. They're actually on the Lido Finance second version of its protocol which will bring in support for Ethereum staking withdrawals post the Shanghai hard fork. And yet, reward din nila yung staking router nila in a way that should boost the platform's level of decentralization. Ang plano na ito ay pinaresent ng Lido community in a blog post. It will be needed to be turned into official proposal and potentially be approved in a vote by token holders before it will be implemented. Itong Lido version 2 will go through 6 audits. Una-una dyan, dadaan sila sa pagsusuri ng Sigma Prime, Chain Security, and Oxorio. The security checks will focus on withdrawals, the code for the staking router code, and the key ceremony. In timeline, we'll see a code freeze in February. Pagkatapos nito, the audit security will begin. At the end of February, the upgrade will go through a vote on Lido's governance platform. And at the start of the March 2023, your upgrade will go live in the girly testnet and the upgrade will go through the live mainnet ahead of the Shanghai Capella. So, ibig sabihin, mauuna pa ito ahead of the Shanghai hard fork on March by the Ethereum developers. Kailangan itong gawin ng Lido because it will support the withdrawals na paparating dahil inalaw na ng Shanghai hard fork ang withdrawals ng Ethereum from all of that was state years ago when we introduced Ethereum 2.0. Once this happens, it's probable that STETH will trade fairly close to the underlying asset which is Ethereum because there's an arbitrage opportunity between the two. Pero since there is a time delay in staking from 24 hours to a week, it will likely remain a merong paling slight difference in between the price of the two assets. One thing that Lido is introducing is to speed up withdrawals through a buffer. This makes use of Ether that happens to be available and can be withdrawn more quickly or ito yung mga Ethereum na hindi pa na stake or spare ether left over from validators that are being exited from the system or validator rewards. Kamerada, if someone makes a withdrawal request and there is an ether available in the buffer that will get paid out quickly avoiding the full withdrawal waiting period kung baga meron silang reserve. The idea is if you need to withdraw a small amount according to the Lido Finance Master of Validators Isidoros Pasadis, 
Sabi niya, if you would like to withdraw small amount and the amount exists naman in the buffer, then we will actually need to exit validators in order to meet the redemption request. So, mas para pinapadali nila. Alright, let's move on. Another big feature ng Lido 2.0 is the decentralization of Lido using a new staking router. Ang pinaka-purpose nito, based on the being it redesigned, is to be able to assign staking to selected validators. Ngayon kasi, there's only one router. It's actually controlled by a Lido TAO or DAO. Other than new design, Sign, anyone would be able to propose adding a new router that would pass on staking requirements to validators and have a different setup on the official one. This new router will allow a wider range of node operators to take part in the Lido protocol. It will also include nodes run by the solo stakers, small groups, and even the DAOs. Plus, it would even allow distributed validator sets like OBOL, where validator keys are split up and spread among different entities to take part. Bukod pa dito, it will also further decentralize the Lido protocol. Sabi ni Pasadis, this is actually one of the last aspect where Lido could be argued to be a custodial in some way. Sabi niya, he acknowledged that there's always more ways that the project could be further decentralized. For more information about Lido and other staking services, visit Lido at www.lido.fi Magita mo dyan, kamerada, ano ba yung mga examples or halimbawa ng mga tokens na pwede mong i-stake katulad ng Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, Polkadot, dot and kusama. Huwag kalimutan basahin ang mga terms and conditions before ito gamitin ka Miranda. Maraming salamat at I love you 3000. Subscribe, like, follow and share. Sige na please, Kamiranda.